Hi, I'm Kerry Lord from Toft. This video forms part of a series to accompany the Edwards Crochet kits, patterns and books. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a scale as used in the Jane the Pangolin um, pattern and kit. So it's a separate piece that you make afterwards um, for the tail and the back piece and then you sew it into position. So we're going to be starting from the tip of the tail by making this scale here. And with this um, stitch, it's done in two sections, it's done in two parts really. You always do a setup row and then you crochet the scale around that setup row. So begin with a slip knot, an ordinary slip knot, and pop that onto your hook. And then we're going to chain seven stitches. So a chain, you yarn over and through. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then counting five stitches back from your hook, so one, two, three, four, five. We're going to treble two stitches into that chain there. So a treble, you yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, and then go through the first two loops and the second two loops. Then back in again, do a second treble into that same chain. So you've done two trebles into that one chain there, then chain one, and then we're going to do a final treble back into the first one here that's by the slip knot. And that is your first setup row upon which you work a scale. So what you've got is you've got um, your bit of your chain where you turned at the end and missed out five stitches, you've got your two twin trebles together in one, which is around which we're going to work the scale, and then you've got one at the end. So it's time to work the scale, and we're going to work it around these two trebles here. So keeping, we, we worked along there, keeping the work and working into the same side, open up those two trebles, and we're going to treble five around this one here, around the treble. So yarn over, in between the two trebles, yarn over and back through. That's one treble. So again, there's two, three, four, and five. Then chain one. And then moving across to the other side, we're going to chain five around the other treble that sits there. So again, one, two, three, four, and five. So that's our first scale. So we had that setup row, and then we've worked round five trebles around one of those posts, a chain in the middle, and five trebles around the other one. So our first scale is done. So now we're back to doing a setup row again. And we're starting with one scale. This time round, we're going to do an increased setup row because we need to move to two scales. So to do that, to begin with, we're going to slip stitch um, into the um, setup row that sits below you. That's really just to make it, it neater. Um, it's not really anything to do with the pattern, it's just going to neaten up what you're doing. So go in the one there that was below it and just slip stitch and that'll just secure that there so you get a neater edge. And then we're going to chain from that point outwards. So we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to treble one into the base of that chain, so back into where you slip stitched. And this is creating your first cluster on this side. So you're gonna have those two trebles on this side and that's around which you're gonna work a scale when we come back. So um, yarn around and work a treble into the base of that chain. So that's giving you two posts around which to work the scale. Then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to treble into the middle of the scale below. So work a treble in there. Then we're going to chain one again. 
and then we're going to work two trebles into the top left of this scale over here. If you're left-handed, yours will be the other way um, around, that you'll be going in the opposite direction with the scales. So over here, first one and a second one. So that's me having completed my next setup row. I've got two posts here around which to work a scale. This is just for spacing and then two here on this side. So now it's time to work these next two scales. So turning the work that way, we're going to treble five around this one here. So around, and there's one, two, three, four, five, chain one, turn that work the other way and work your five trebles up the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and then moving on to the one on the other side. So you've got, that was your first scale worked on the ones on that end, then you've got the two here. So we're going to do five trebles around this one. One, two, three, four, Five, chain one, that's what creates the tip of that scale. And then work your last five trebles around this side. One, two, three, four, Five. So whenever you're doing that increase setup, basically you've got your, your increasing the number of scales that you're going to have. So your increase setup rows are always going to have more at the ends because that's where they're going to be going in. The opposite to that is going to be a decrease setup row. So I did one to begin with, I did an increase setup which will give me two. Say my next stage in my tail, I'm going to return to just having one. So um, I'm now going to do the decrease setup, which will be reducing the number of scales that you'd be working on the next row. So we're going to begin by slip stitching into the centre of the last scale. And again, this is really just about strengthening it and making it neater. So I'm going to slip stitch um, into that scale there, and that just neatly ties off that end scale there for you. Then chain four, one, two, three, four. Then treble one, into the space on one side of the post between the underneath scales. So you see under here, you've got this treble that we left there in the center of the one below. We're actually going to treble into this hole here on that side and then treble one into that hole on that side. So yarn over into that hole and treble one there. And then the same, do another treble on that side There we go. Then chain one. And then treble one into the centre of the scale there. And so that one is a decrease setup line because you've taken what is two scales and just built the place to build one scale on the centre there. You've got your two posts there upon which you'll now turn and work one scale onto those two posts. So let's yarn over and work our five trebles on this side. One, two, three, four, five, and chain one. And then working back up the other side of that post, we're going to do five more trebles. And it, it's going to take a little bit of getting your head around it. it it is quite um, a tricky thing, but once you do it, it's a really rewarding technique um, to see them grow like that. It's very fun. 
two, three, four, and five. So you see, there's me returning to, I started with one scale, I did the increase set at row to give me two, then I did the decrease set at row to take me back down to one, and then just follow your pattern from there on up, and you'll see your pangolin's uh, shell come to life.